bet on this tech trend, like bet on this trend. It's this is we are not near the saturation point. The models are going to get so much better so quickly. What you can do as a startup founder with this versus what you could do without it is so wildly different. And the big companies, even the medium sized companies, even the startups that are a few years old, they're already on like quarterly planning cycles. And Google is on a year or decade planning cycle. I don't know how they even do it anymore. But your advantage with speed and focus and conviction and the ability to react to how fast the technology is moving, that is that is the number one edge of a startup kind of ever, but especially right now. So I would definitely like build something with AI and I would definitely like take advantage of the ability to see a new thing and build something that day rather than like put it into a quarterly planning cycle. I guess the other thing I would say is it is easy when there's a new technology platform to say, well, because I'm doing some with AI, the the rule, the laws of business don't apply to me. I have this magic technology, and so I don't have to build uh, a moat or a um, you know competitive edge or a better product. It's because you know I'm doing AI and you're not, so that's all I need. And that's obviously not true. But what you can get are these short-term explosions of growth by embracing a new technology more quickly than somebody else and remembering not to fall for that and that you still have to build something of enduring value that's i think that's a good thing to keep in mind too yeah everyone can build an absolutely incredible demo right now but everyone can build an incredible demo but building a business that, man that's the brass ring the rules still apply you can do it faster than ever before and better than ever before but you still have to build a business